Hi y'all, today I'm going to be answering the question, is the Woodlands expensive? Hi, my name is Jordan Shalacy Brooker, owner of Joe & Co, where my goal at Joe & Co isn't just to be your realtor, it's to be your resource. So is the Woodlands expensive? I think the answer to this question really lies in what exactly are you looking for? If you're looking for a 5,000 square foot house and your budget is $350,000, then yes, you might think the Woodlands is expensive. But at the end of the day, I personally do not think the Woodlands ex is expensive. It has one of the lowest tax rates in all of the Houston area. You're looking at 3.1 all the way up to sorry, 2.1% all the way up to 2.6-ish, depending on what area of the woodlands. The newer the area, the higher the tax rate. So towards the front of the woodlands, you're going to see that 2.0, 2.1%. Now keep in mind, this is before homestead exemption. And if you're over 65, it's before a senior exemption. So you are saving roughly 10% with that homestead exemption. And um, so tax rate is really low. There are houses in all different price points in the Woodlands. You have $200,000, $250,000 for a very small home all the way up in the millions. There are homes in the three, four, five, six, seven, eight million dollars. Just depends exactly what you're looking for. The Woodlands has gated communities. We have public schools. We have private schools. We have so much that caters to everyone in every lifestyle and everyone in every budget. So it just depends exactly what you're looking for in a home. Uh, when it comes to bedrooms and square footage and lot size. So lot size, you have all different lot sizes in the Woodlands, but overall, I personally don't think the Woodlands is expensive, but there are areas nearby that give you more bang for your buck. So the really established areas of Cyprus, you can get bigger square footage and the same thing for Klein and Kingwood. Klein is an area of spring. Do keep in mind most of the woodlands is in spring. So Klein is about 21 minutes from the woodlands. That's where I live. Although I mostly market in the woodlands. My family lives there. I've grown up in the area and I adore every single community around here. So I definitely have a lot of knowledge from being here. Uh, I was born here. I left when I was four, came back when I was 17 and I'm in my thirties now. So I have tons of area knowledge for you. So Klein is a very good area nearby where you can find really affordable large homes and Kingwood would be another great option. So Klein, Kingwood, and some areas of Cyprus, you just have to keep your eye on the tax rate. Now I've done a lot of math on this for myself, for investors, for families. When you have a higher tax rate, the flip side of that is you'll have less maintenance in your home. So it's almost a wash. By the time your home needs maintenance, it will probably be a lower tax rate by then. So the number one driving factor of your property tax rate is the MUD, the Municipal Utility District. So that is what built the infrastructure for the water and sewer system. So over time, that MUD, that billion dollar bond that was taken out, gets paid down, therefore your tax rate drops. So that's why the older the area, typically the smaller the tax rate. So is the Woodlands expensive? I don't think so, but there are a lot of nearby options. And the Woodlands, think of the Woodlands as our new downtown. And as long as you're 20 to 30 minutes from there, you will be very happy. Again, my name is Jordan Shalacy, broker owner of Joe & Co, where my goal at Joe & Co isn't just to be your realtor, it's to be your resource. So if you have any questions, feel free to schedule a call down below or send me an email. You're going to see a couple videos pop up. Also down below are links to ebooks and relocation guides. My blog is amazing. We have thousands of blog posts. We feature every neighborhood around Houston and I hope you all have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.